Hey everyone, I'm Ava and today we're doing another doll makeover. This is the doll I chose for today's custom doll makeover. She's definitely like a retro Barbie and I've had her for like as long as I can remember. And I definitely feel like she could use a bit of a facelift. She's basically that classic Barbie doll, like the blonde hair, blue eyes kind of vibe going on. And I actually really do like how her eyes are kind of smaller and more realistic. So that was definitely a main factor on why I picked this specific doll out. And I just feel like she has a lot of potential and we can really do something with her here. The very first thing I want to do with this doll is remove her earrings because... They're definitely just a little bit tacky and um, not the vibe. So I think we can just pull them right out, hopefully. Otherwise we might need to cut them off. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut those. And I'm just gonna like literally poke the end there back into her head and we'll just collect that later when we take off her head. <laughs> and so naturally our next step is to remove her head. And because this is a body that I don't really care about um, because it does just have the basic five points of articulation, I'm not gonna bother dipping her head in boiling hot water and letting everything warm up. I'm just gonna go for it because worst case scenario, I break something, but it won't affect things later because I am gonna be giving her a new body anyways. Oh yeah, and you can see it's already been cracked and damaged anyways here, so. Yep. <laughs> I just destroyed that. Even if I would have soaked that, that actually would have still broken. That was so ready to be broken already. I'm just gonna use my pliers to pull this thing out. If you can't tell, I'm really using effort right now. <laughs> there we go. Now I'm going to tie back her hair into a ponytail. Oh, and here are those little two pieces from the earrings that stayed in her head. Those just fell out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut her hair off. And then I'm just going to cut off as much of the rest of the hair that I can. From here, the next step is to take some long needle nose pliers and just kind of like go in there and scrape around on the scalp to get all these little hair plugs out. And you can see how they just like get sucked right in. And there we go, the whole entire head all cleaned out. And now because I do plan on giving her some brown hair, I'm going to paint the scalp of her head brown. That probably wasn't the best method to go about this, but oh well. And I'm just gonna let that dry. And while that's drying guys, I do wanna quickly talk about my nails. If you've been following me for a long time now, you'll know that I always like to have my nails done. And I'm really excited because the nail polish brand that I've used for years now sent me some awesome stuff. And the brand I'm talking about is Gelin. They are a gel nail polish brand and what I've been using to do my nails for a very long time now, including the nails I have done right now. They sent me a nail polish kit with 36 colors and also a dip powder starter kit. Here are all the nail polish colors that it comes with. And it also has a base coat, top coat, and matte top coat. So it's like perfect for starting out because you'll have all of these awesome colors and the top coats and base coat that you'll need. And because these are gel nail polishes, they are needed to be cured with a UV light as well. And this one here is the dip powder starter kit. And this is really cool because you actually don't need UV light for these. And they're basically just like powders that you dip your nails in. So this is something I'm really excited to try out. Anyways, yeah, I just really like this brand. It's what I've used forever and they last like super long. And if you're wanting to start off with trying some gel nails, I definitely recommend this brand. And their prices are also super affordable compared to most gel nail polishes. So I'll have all these products linked in the description box below if you wanna check them out yourselves. And thank you, Jelen, for sending all this stuff to me. Let's get back to the doll makeover now. Her scalp is all dry now, and this is the hair I'm planning on giving her. I got this hair a long while back now. I don't even know how long it's been, but it was from an Etsy shop called Nestia. Unfortunately, I looked and it doesn't look like the shop's open right now, but I do really wanna finally use this hair. I actually did attempt to film a video with this hair around a year ago, 
and it went pretty bad. I don't know what I did wrong necessarily, but all the hair got knotted and tangled up and I had to just ditch that video. And it's just because this hair is really like silky and like real hair, so it can easily get knotted. But I'm gonna try using it again. It's been like a year and I really do want to try to use it because it is so pretty. So <laughs> let's see how this turns out. I'm gonna cut off the elastic here. And I'm just gonna take off a little section like that. You can barely even see it. But I have like this bowl here of water and I think I'm just gonna like dip my fingers in and kind of like wet in the strands of hair every time just to make them a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm just going to put that onto my rerouting tool and poke it into the doll's head. And by the way, my rerouting tool is from The Doll Planet and I absolutely love it. It is great quality. So I guess I'm just gonna continue this all the way around the hairline of the doll's head. Okay, so I did all around her entire hairline and so far, so good. Now I'm just going to kind of fill in the rest of the head and we're gonna leave the part here for last. So now that I've done all the rest of the head and I did leave lots of spaces like without hair in them just because it's already getting pretty thick and I don't really think it's necessary, but we just have the hairline left. So I just carefully poke it in and then I take one half of the strand and kind of pull it one way on the doll's head and take the other half of the strand and pull it the other way. And I'm just gonna do that all the way down for the rest of the part. Okay, and at this point, her hair is all rerouted now. Finally, that took hours, guys. Like, I don't even think you understand how long that took me. Literally forever. So right now, I'm just going to kind of loosely tie her hair in a ponytail just to kind of keep the hair all somewhat in place. And then using my Fabri-Tac glue, I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue in her head to hold all the hair in place. And now I'm just gonna let this dry overnight so everything can really just dry fully and the hair can stay in place. So everything is all dry and I think I put in a good amount of glue because it feels like things are going to stay in place. So before I deal with her hair, I do want to give her a new body. And I have Elizabeth here. I don't use her and I could use her body on this new doll. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And so yeah, right now her hair is kind of really crazy and poofy. So I'm gonna go run it under some boiling hot water just to make everything lay flat. So this is what we're working with. And I did just give her this dress temporarily. The thing I am noticing though, is that this hair doesn't really like to lay flat as much as some of the other hair that I've worked with. But hopefully when it dries, we can just kind of work around that. As for her hair length, I do think I wanna keep it pretty long but there are some like little scraggly pieces at the end here. So I'm just gonna kind of cut it off so it's somewhat even here. We're gonna start with removing some of the makeup. So I have some 100% acetone and a couple like Q-tips and a cotton swab. And for small details, I basically have a toothpick. I wrapped like a cotton swab around the end and then dipped that in acetone. And I'm gonna use that to remove some of her eyeshadow because I really don't like that glitter stuff going on. So we're gonna remove that. So as you can see, I got rid of all of her eyeshadow and that was literally very, very difficult to get all those little spaces, but I definitely like it a lot better with all of it gone. Next, I'm going to remove the pink from her lips. I'm going to keep her white teeth so I don't have to repaint them, but I am going to remove her lips. Now that all her makeup is removed, I'm going to start on the actual repaint. And as you can probably tell, I did dampen her hair again just because it was getting kind of crazy. And this hair just has such a problem lying flat nicely. So I'm a little bit worried about that. 
but we'll figure out what hairstyle to give her when that time comes. So if you don't already know, what I do for my repaints is I mix together matte Mod Podge and acrylic paint. And I'm starting with a brown color and I'm just gonna kind of add some hairs to her eyebrows. I always like to do this. It just makes the eyebrows look more realistic. I'm gonna use that same brown to kind of darken her nostrils as well. This is something I always also do. And I also want this doll to have some freckles and little like imperfections and stuff. So I'm gonna kind of just put that on with that same brown color. As for eye color, I wanna make it a nice green. So I start with a lighter green and I'm gonna put that right over the blue on her eyes. And then take a bit of a darker green to go on the outer edge of that. And then I'm gonna take some black and kind of fill back in her pupils. And now I'm gonna do her lips with this kind of pink natural color. Here's how she's looking. I'm really happy with how her face looks, but now we're going to deal with this hair. <laughs> like I've mentioned, it's a little bit crazy, but I think the hairstyle that will be perfect for this are like two double braids. So I'm gonna attempt that and we're gonna see how that looks. All right, so not gonna lie, that actually took a while to get them even looking and even just somewhat decent, but I am not mad at how they look right now. The back is definitely horrendous, but we won't be looking back there. And the hair still looks a little bit crazy, but I think what's gonna go perfectly to tame these braids a little bit is a toque. Are you ready to see how amazing this is gonna look? Like, come on, that is cute, okay? So yeah, her hair might be a little crazy, it might be a little whack, but it's kind of a vibe, honestly. Maybe this wasn't necessarily what I had in mind, but I feel like the kind of messy, frizzy hair in braids suits her. Okay, so now that we figured out her hair situation, it's time for probably my favorite part, which is the outfit. I'm really excited to find her something super cute that will go with her braids and the toque. Um, what the heck? I'm in love with this. Okay, wait. So honestly, I was like doubting this entire doll up until right now. <laughs> this is the coolest outfit ever. And especially with her toque and the braids. I also gave her these awesome like black boots as well, which go perfectly with her vibe. Please tell me I'm not the only one that's in love with this. Okay, but let's get back to what we're focusing on now, which is some accessories. So for earrings, since she does have those huge like holes left in her ears from the old earring she has, lots of the earrings I have don't really work for her. So what I think I might just do is just like put the earrings in and just like balance it in there and leave it in there. I ended up actually going with the hoops and they actually went in her ears perfectly because I think when I took out the earrings, the plastic just started instantly shrinking down. So I just had to use a little bit of force and they went in perfectly and they're gonna stay in place, which is awesome. As for jewelry, I have this black little choker with like some silver detailing on the middle. I actually forgot to do this earlier, but I want to paint her nails. I'm going to make them pink. And I'm still just using that same Mod Podge and acrylic paint mixture. And I gave her this pink purse that she's just holding in her hand. And I think that really helps complete the look. I'm personally really happy with how she turned out. Yes, we did have quite a lot of struggles with her hair along the way, but in the end, I think it all turned out great. Let me know what you guys think of this doll makeover and let me know in the comments below what her name should be. Now, before we end today's video, the shout outs for today go to Vivi Laval, Be Productive, and Falling for Dolls. Thank you so, so much for supporting the channel. And remember, if you want a chance of getting a shout out, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell and comment down below with the hashtag DD Squad, and you'll have a chance of getting a shout out in the next video. Don't forget to check out Jelen and click the link in the description because like I mentioned, that's the brand I use to do my nails. And personally, I think they look pretty great. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this doll makeover. I really hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe because it really does help with the channel and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye.